Howdy fellow Kerbinauts, Aubranium here. Today we're doing the triple gravity challenge where we plant a flag on Duna and return all using 3x gravity. Let's get into it. On its face, any gravity multiplier challenge is mostly a matter of working within a more strict fuel constraint. If gravity is three times stronger, this means we need the square root of three times more fuel for every maneuver. We also need three times more thrust just to get off the ground. The monster first stage uses six boosters, each with 19 engines. These are jettisoned fairly early, leaving the center core to continue burning. With each stage separation, we peel off the fuel tanks and engines no longer needed for the ascent. This launch profile is beautifully treacherous. After gaining some altitude, we need to reduce thrust to prevent fighting aerodynamic forces. This is especially delicate for gravity multiplier missions where thrust to weight ratio requirements are very high. Mechjeb defaults didn't do it. After nudging them over several test flights, I settled on limiting the dynamic pressure to half an atmosphere. This takes the craft to 75 kilometers, where we circularize to prepare for Duna transfer. The mission itself is just the same as any other Duna round trip. Burn in low carbon orbit to achieve a Duna intercept. Then a mid-course correction burn for aerobraking periapsis. Except this time the vessel somehow came in on the dark side? I suspect if left alone, this landing might have been just fine, but I panicked and interfered. <laughs> nope. So we try again. This time the pilot was a little overzealous with the staging and ejected important fuel tanks before we used them. <laughs> so we try again. Another beautiful launch, but this time we adjust inclination on our way into the body's sphere of influence. Aerobraking in Duna's atmosphere helps slow us down, and we get a worthy Kerbal landing after a butter smooth hover slam. <laughs> Then we discover the downsides of this design. Womp womp. In trying to keep the part count low, there were only four air brakes. They help slow the craft down and reduce fuel requirements for landing, but we're limited to 255 parts total. This design already has 195, so we're running low, as is. I added ladders on either side, but they're just not long enough, or I put them in the wrong place, but all of the above, maybe. It was quite a bit of faffing around trying to get the pointy end up and flamey end down here, uh, but ultimately, <laughs> the hill won the day. So we try again, and this time everything goes really smoothly and the vessel ends up in a slow arrow braking trajectory, returning to Kerbin. Patience would have been enough to finish, but someone was clever and thought the drag profile would increase with the open doors. Jeb died instantly. Don't open the doors during re-entry, y'all. Just don't do it. I don't care how good of an idea it seems like. So we try again, <laughs> and this time no one dies. Jeb does indeed bail out after a beautiful re-entry, and we have good shoot. He swims to safety of a nearby beach, and victory! <laughs> Except... <sighs> Turns out the fine print says no autopilot. And the challenge gods will not accept my submission as is. After unceremoniously removing the offending part, we do it all again! <laughs> 
Naturally, it's a lot harder because Mech Jab was really doing a lot of the heavy lifting, pun intended. I tried to mimic the dynamic pressure trick with KOS, but I was never able to achieve orbit with the same amount of fuel. In the end, the mission was complete without the offending parts, and there was much rejoicing. Yay. <laughs> There's a 5x challenge also, but I'm good for now. I used the 5x craft for the 3x challenge, so <laughs> I doubt I can do much better. So thanks to the KSP Discord for the worthy challenge. And thanks to you all for watching. Good luck out there.